is Thursday, June 10th. We are very nicely knocking down these last couple days of school here, so that is exciting. Um, I got my first fueling of the morning. It is the dark roast coffee that I made into iced coffee, a handful of ice, and then I blended that up with the vanilla shake. Ooh, I hit the last vanilla shake in the box and I was like, oh, my order didn't process yet, so I won't get my next box for two weeks. But then I looked and I had squirreled away another box. So whew, we do have another box of vanilla. We have plenty of chocolate. And again, you can always throw your brownie shake in there, your cookie shake in there, peanut butter if you're desperate. <laughs> mm. All right, so that's where we're at. We'll head over to school and I'll see you there. In a crazy turn of events, it's chilly in my classroom today. So that's kind of funny. But I brought a bunch of fuelings to school and I have six school days left and I'm gonna make myself eat the fuelings that I brought. So I got a bunch of oatmeal and I got a bunch of pesto pasta. So that is gonna be our fuelings for the next couple of days. So if it stays chilly, that's gonna work out for us. So today for fueling two, I got the maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Um, I usually let it sit for a lot longer than I did today. So hopefully it's okay. And hopefully it's not over microwaved, which is normally what it is. Hmm. Not bad, it's nice, it's warm. Again, we're just a little over air conditioned today on a day that it's only like 70 degrees outside because Massachusetts is weird. <laughs> we do love having a different temperature day every day. So that's what we're dealing with today. Um, see you in a couple hours when we figure out fueling three. Today is flying by. It is already lunchtime here. So in kind of a theme of trying to eat the fuelings that I brought to school and not bring different ones in, I am having the pesto mac and cheese today. Uh, it's still a little soupy. I might have added too much water, but it has been sitting in the water since this morning. So at least hopefully the noodles are cooked. Hmm. It'll be a little bit more like having some uh, cheese pesto soup than actually mac and cheese, but that's not too bad either. Hmm. I'll see you back here for fueling four. Feeling a little hangry here for fourth fueling. I like the oatmeal. I like the pasta mac and cheese, but for some reason they never quite feel as filling as I want them. They're always like, I don't know, they feel like they're smaller fuelings than the other one. And I know that's not true. I know it's all in my head, but I'm very excited for fourth fueling. I took the cinnamon swirl cake. I made it into a waffle added a little bit of cheese and a half a waffle of egg beaters and this is what's going to be for fourth fueling mm. that is delicious it's been freezing in the building all day but i'm pretty sure it's beautiful outside so i'm hoping when i get home we'll get a walk in and we'll get the extra steps that we need to earn the egg sandwich so that's our plan for today I'll see you for the lean and green. It has been quite a productive afternoon. I came home, I got over to the post office to mail a bunch of stuff and uh, I had defrosted some tilapia and had already made up today's salad. So it just took me a couple minutes to cook up the tilapia. I put a little soy sauce and some Asian spice on the fish tonight to mix things up. This is tonight's delicious lean and green. I'm gonna enjoy this, figure out what we're doing for dessert, and I'll see you back here in a couple hours. <clears throat> for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna do the double creamy peanut butter bar tonight for dessert. So this is how we're gonna end our night. I'm gonna go enjoy my dessert. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, drop some comments down below, and if you're looking for a health coach, send me an email at iemahoney at yahoo.com. I'd love to help you.